two things. One, just a clarification. You had said that um, you will get all Americans in Kabul who want to get out. out. Did you mean Kabul, or did you mean the entire country? And, and second, um, one of the things that you all bragged about over the weekend was the uh, rapidity with which you guys negotiated over the last several days with third countries the ability to bring flights in to, you know, to expand the number of places throughout Europe and the Middle East. Why wasn't that done months ago? I mean, you yourself have just said you knew exactly that this chaos was going to erupt at some point. Why would there be the need to negotiate on the fly with these countries if it couldn't that have been done before? So I'll take your second question first. I, I have to tell you, um, I bristle at saying we bragged. Okay, I haven't bragged about anything. I'm trying to give you the straight dope from here, the good and the bad, and that means a lot to me. Secondly, it is certainly the case that we've had to add countries and try to add capacity in places. We did spend months negotiating transit centers to set up as part of our contingency planning in both the Gulf and in Europe. As it turns out, we have been able to produce a throughput that exceeded even our optimistic expectations in terms of the number of folks who could get out. So the fact is we are actually overperforming in terms of the evacuation numbers and therefore we need a higher ceiling in terms of the number of beds and other facilities at transit centers. So we're simply adding capacity.